will lose that for sure now the AT gun going to work on Seb's gonna take out at least one vehicle here Puma trying to do the damage I believe the Puma should uh, focus down there it goes kills the AT gun now needs to focus on the MG Souls infantry can start doing its thing because all these rifle squads here are giving it hell especially with this MG there and it looks like Tom Toma will come out this Puma may go down taking lots of damage damage engine is going to go down I don't see it surviving especially with the AT gun firing and yes it does and now he's gonna have to back out of here he does have stickies if he gets one sticky on that he's gonna kill it and it looks like they're getting a little padding stuck here however he throws a sticky on the right one as well and the left one gonna lose the left one oh man Nebel going off is it going off over here trying to save kill these two rifle squads no actually going off in the middle two rifle squads gonna chase down this AT gun and it will get away because this MG bunker once again saves him so Seb being pushed back into his base quite a few times here he was trying to get stickies on there because he did get the damage engine but unfortunately it was too close to his base and, and now this allows Seb to start coming out onto the field he needs to be careful though that MG is still on the field there's a sniper on the field and we do have airborne from Tommy, Tommy, you did see the AT guns drop by a parachute, so that is airborne, not from the motor pool. And we have a second Puma coming out for Seb. You can see uh, they're doing a lot of harassment here on the right side. That's when you want to keep doing it. It, it tends it bottlenecks your opponent's army. Just because of this one squad here, he has to dedicate a squad to start firing onto your rifle squad. Oh, almost losing the rifle squad. Can it cut it off? I think Seb may have been trying to go for, uh, trying to cut him off from the retreat path, but unfortunately he does not get over there and will cap this point over here. Reconnecting the plus 10 fuel, so he did manage to recap the plus 10 fuel for himself. However, the plus 10 munitions has been decapped, and that actually he should get that plus 10 fuel still because of the strategic point, and it, it's, it goes around actually connecting his supply line. So he is good on that. And Tomitoma has a pretty good hold here in the middle because of that MG and sniper support and his great rifles here at the bars that are now coming out onto the field. And he does have the VPs 434 to 223. So Seb needs to start doing a slow push here. Don't want to get too greedy. Never want to get too greedy as you start to throw the game away as with any. That's kind of the general rule with any game really. And here we go. Uh, Tomitoma gonna do a little harassment he doesn't need to dedicate himself because he is in the lead you want to stay stationary because you do get the accuracy bonus you get to sit in cover and it's gonna force said to come out of cover force his units to get closer and he's in a really uncomfortable position here strafing around killing the puma killing lots of men here the medic bunker uh, and he can reinforce from that medic bunker however these squads are very low on health that will feed the medic bunker at least but Seb is just in a just living hell right here uh the mg's keeping them pinned in here uh but, well, the strafing run i think um he does have a motor so that was a motor shot getting two kills here that neville needs to start countering this all these stationary squads that will be i believe the key to to start pushing tomitoma if he can get rid of those stationary squads and then he can start uh, the micro battle against these rifle squads however he does lose the medic bunker now unfortunately the rifle squads coming in here to finish it up and lots of fire here. He needs to start backing up the sniper over here. Uh, he did build another sniper. Doesn't hasn't been able to get any shots off yet. However, we're gonna start seeing the first kill from the sniper. Because there is one squad into that building. He may be able to collapse that building. Tommy Tommy doesn't realize it, but he does and gets out of there. As it was getting a little dangerous, especially with that MG fire and all that. And here comes the Neville now going to fire. Uh, I would guess it was in the middle, try to counter his motor. And here it goes. Let's see if he can kill anything. Unfortunately, four or five shots landing in the same position where there's really nothing there. So, unfortunately, not paying off at all. And we have more fighting here in the middle. The MG is going to set up and should pin this. Rifle squad, there is a window there, isn't there? Yes, there is a window, so the MG taking its time to fire on that rifle squad, allowing it to take that plus five fuel. There's a sniper in position, however, it is too close to these rifle squads to take a shot. 
way too dangerous and the MG finally firing onto the rifle squad however it fires onto the rifle squad that is furthest away and you do more damage to the MGs to the squad that is closest to the MG oh man we have a push from Seb great move here so that will flank any M oh no the MG was repositioned but that was a good flank by Seb to counter these stationary squads as most of the rifle squads have been over here by Tomitoma but Tomitoma still manages to push it off with just sheer uh, a bigger army and uh, readjusting that MG so the MG has been readjusted maybe he can get another shot on that by that Nebel and Tomitoma really pinning Seb into his base here I'm, it, it's not a, a total contain it's not a game ending contain but it's starting to VPs are starting to tick 344 to 223 and Seb's actually in the lead with the VPs I don't know if I said Tomitoma was behind but I, I might have said that on accident now I think about it so if I did my mistake in a strafing run coming in here doing lots of damage once again kills the MG however the MG is near his base so he doesn't need to worry about Tomitoma picking that up and giving Seb even more trouble it's just the kills on the sniper only three kills I'm gonna go back to the base here uh, doing supply drops so that's where he's getting all these strafing runs from is supply drops do provide you with extra fuel and munitions for the cost of 100 manpower so that's a great price it used to be free a long long once a long time ago however here comes uh, not not a push yet the Neville going off once again to try and soften this up however the MG repositions a little bit too close and that allows Seb's snipers to fire onto the MG He's retreating both of his MG or snipers actually I wonder why that is uh, maybe he thought there was something to counter it. I'm not sure, cause he two more, or one more volley from those two snipers could take out the MG, or just one more shot from one of the snipers would force this MG to at least retreat, and that will allow these Volk squads to start moving out, as they will not get suppressed. And the only thing they'll have to deal with really is the rifle squads, and the engineer squad, and the motor but uh, really the MG is kind of the ending once you get suppressed it's pretty much over and allows your bars to clean up your squads here however the MG getting flanked here gonna tear up this airborne airborne is just terrible against uh, infantry you can tell almost killing it down to two guys here if you can focus fire just focus fire the MG so it takes it out they will not get uh, suppressed however two rifle squads coming in here to take care of this Volksgrandeur squad looks very very dangerous oh and the mine saving that Volksgrandeur squad I guarantee mm, about I wouldn't guarantee it but that Volksgrandeur squad is very close to dying if those rifles were able to chase it it could have gone down and you can see a recon plane coming in from Tomitoma so he knows uh, what's in his base what's reinforcing and there's really no squads on the field so Tomitoma should take advantage of this oh no actually it's recon run with the strafing run combo you do need vision to use a strafing run and he uses the recon recon is 50 munitions 150 munitions for the strafing run so that's 200 total lots of munitions however well spent that's just gonna put Seb even further back while he's in his base and allows Tommy Toma to freely cap if he's capping the right side, he's capped the left side, he's capped three VPs Neville going off, he needs one of these lucky Neville hits here to turn the fight around for him and will he get it, oh and he lands on the motor is the motor getting burnt alive, yes it is hits the AT gun just a little bit, AT gun however is out of position may kill this motor squad uh, nope, Tommy Toma manages to move it out of out of the fire so Seb really needs to do a slow and steady push because his units really uh, compromise of compromise I don't even know that's the right word consist of MG's two MG's and a sniper which are slow units however very powerful when they are still and you can see this MG actually catching oh no make kill no, airborne squad however one guy does drop in the MG squad here is here to suppress these two squads one sniper here doing going to town do we have any reinforcements from Seb he's in a pretty decent position here and it'll be a good time to start pushing and countering these motor squads the motor squads are is what gonna allow Tommy Toma to push this fight around because MGs are so slow and stationary however the MG oh wow the MGs actually going to the left side if they retreated through that rifle squad they would probably have been dead sniper trying to get away from Tommy 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 Tommy's probably using that 
a unit snipe button so he can track down that sniper that even though it's camoed you can ca uh, blah, 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 track down where the sniper is so if you didn't know about that it says unit snipe that icon pops up the enemy sniper goes back in the camo just click on that icon once again and it will show you where that sniper is even though it is camoed it is a little cheap but everybody uses it so you might as well use it as well and here the AT gun not gonna do too much I don't think it can counter anything as Tommy Toma has switched to switch to AT guns more of a tier 1 tier 2 play uh, hasn't built any more anything from his tank depot it would be a terrible choice to go Sherman's at this time because Seb does have that mobile AT gun and he can build more if he pleases to so Seb actually going to split his forces sending an engineer squad and an MG to the right and a Volksranger squad and a sniper to the left however there's an MG set up over here so if this should be able to handle it with that sniper there and MP44 if they get suppressed they can easily brute force through that MG because it is only has two guys and this is a great combo here MG to cover the weak pioneer squads and the sniper to cover the MP44 Volks because MP44s are gonna have to get up close to do their damage and he does take out that MG so nice little move there six kills for that sniper 17 for that Volks Grandier squad Volks Grandier squad may actually take this MG position it to face outwards to help defend again defend these Volks Grandier squads that are gonna cap this left VP and Tommy Tom is gonna have to kinda decide should I go right should I go left uh, where where do I go here? Because he does kind of have stationary units as well. Two mortar squads. Two mortar squads can start raining destruction onto these MGs. Actually, uh, that Seb has taken on the left side and the one he's positioned on the right side. So that's not going to defend it entirely. He does need to start sending Volksgrenadier squads off over here. He just only has two squads, really, and he's gonna sit into this building here one Volkswagen squad very low on health needs to suppress the bars actually not the airborne airborne are terrible however he can throw a satchel charge in there if he wants to I haven't seen grenades from Tomitoma however we're about to find out and yes he does have grenades oh man actually I don't know if that was on purpose or not you can throw the grenade fake it act like it's gonna go into the building but you actually throw it in front of the door so when he brings his units out um, it they all get blown up because they land they got out and stepped on that grenade pretty much. However, uh, Tommy Tommy does uh, LOL with the question mark, so maybe it wasn't on purpose. I don't know what the deal was over there. However, those grenades weren't too effective, only killing one guy. Oh, and a nice nasty flank here, MG out of position, and two bars and an engineer squad. This MG is probably gonna go down very quick. However, it's just too late to retreat. Grenades going off. Pops for the far land. Desperately want to hold his right side here. However, it's not going to happen. He needs to retreat all these squads. Will he lose the MG if he can focus fire that? It's very low on health. No, he should not lose that. He will not lose that squad. However, Tommy Toma reclaims the right side of the map. And he does hold off the left side. Seb does hold off the left side. Barely. He only has an MG over here. So really... You send two squads, one to flank and one to take suppression. You've got the left side of the map easy. So let's see how Seb uh, deals with this. Uh, I think he needs more units, really. He can't spread himself out as well as Tommy Tommy because he tends to have more units. He has these mortar squads that can start firing on any units that start capping. He has some good stationary MGs that are positioned pretty well here. And here comes the second push from Seb. Which way is he going to go this time? Oh no, he's going to lose this. Immobilize. Just needs to throw a sticky. However, you can see he's chasing on this sniper, even though it is camoed, using that uh, unit sniped ability. And you can see he, he decamoed it to try and get extra speed. And that was actually a very nice move there, getting that slight extra speed and popping it back in the camo. Does pop for the Fatherland for that exact time right there. Because that is the only fight that is going on here. Engineer squad or Pioneer Squad gonna flank this MG and that's what he needs however it looks like they are in front of that MG and actually wow Mortar Squad's doing a lot of thing here all oh, this fighting is everywhere Sherman coming in here from the left side uh, gets hit from the rear from that Volkswagen Squad however that's all the damage they're gonna do Seb's definitely gonna lose an MG here on the left side 
Pioneer Squad going to clean up this MG with the support of that sniper that now has 9 kills. And oh no, he's not going to lose that. Is he going to lose this MG? The Sherman is turning his turret. One shot. Oh my goodness. It hits the uh, canister in front of it so that MG will get away. And the Puma here doing a little bit of micro. And he needs to focus fire this rifle squad. This airborne is actually not useless, but it's pretty weak. So you, you want to take out the bars that are throwing grenades on your MG that do a lot of damage up to units up close. And he should be able to take out this rifle squad if he decides to chase it down. Oh, and the sniper actually taking the kill away from that Puma. The sniper now has 11 kills. And it looks, this is what Seb needs. He's done a lot of damage to Seb. Dislodged uh, Tommy Toma's positioning here took out an MG um, forced them to retreat and so hopefully he can capitalize on this and he has three nevels this is going to do lots of damage as long as he can defend this and not allow the Sherman to just walk in here um, the great you, micro here the Puma just ramming this Sherman to allow his nevels to start retreating and delay the Sherman from going into his base however the Sh Puma will go down if the Sherman can actually aim and yes it does take out the Puma and the Sherman has free reign really oh no we have the mobile AT gun coming out for Seb just in time can he get it in position though uh, these Nevels are all caught out of position he needs to send this one all the way far to the right two Nevels here just sitting ducks not much they can do may want to start firing them off as this may be the last fight he, he uh, can do however the mobile AT gun gonna oh no he's calling in a bombing run and let's see how much damage this does. Takes out, oh no, takes out two AT guns there, or two Nevels there. Uh, the Sherman is still alive, however, it's probably going to go down here, trying to hide behind the building away from the AT gun. However, this Volksgrand Air Squad is trying to get, probably trying to get Panzerfaust off. Uh, will it get away? Is Seb going to let the Sherman get away and kill his last Nevel? That's going to be terrible. And this AT gun was unfortunately facing the wrong direction. The Sherman is going to get away. It does have three kills. Allowed the bombing run to go off. And killing a Puma. So unfortunately, that's not what Seb needed. And that's going to kind of set him back just a little bit here. As those Nevels deal a lot of firepower. He could be firing them off right now. Take out this AT gun. And then start taking out this rifle squad here. That's all he really has right now. And would allow him middle map control. Then start setting up his MGs. And actually there's a supply drop here in the middle that hasn't been claimed. So if Seb wins this fight and I think he realizes that he can go claim that for himself. And get the extra munitions or fuel for whatever that is. And he takes out the AT gun with the snipers. Great move there. 16 kills. Uh, the MG is set up here to defend against these rifle squads. So the VPs are now 76 to 216. It's getting very close for Seb. Um, however, he's been doing a great push. He's been starting to push Tommy Toma back. Tommy Toma actually only has not a lot. Uh, two rifle squads, one mortar squad, one airborne, and an engineer squad. Where did all his squads go? I, I remember seeing one rifle squad dying, but I don't. I don't remember him losing so much. Um, I remember our MG did go down here. The MG is still set up. I think Tom Tom has just lost so much. Um, this kind of allows Sebs to push back. He still has two MGs, so if he can position these MGs uh, pretty well, which I bet he will, you can see one covering the left side, one covering the right side, and the support of that sniper. He should be good. Hold on to the middle and just let these VPs tick down and rebuild your army a little bit more perhaps set up a medic bunker if he really wants to and do we have this is another bombing run man he just has a lot of munitions oh man killing an MG killing a Volkstrandir squad doing a lot of damage to that AT gun not taking it out however and it did not turn the fight around exactly but man that was a lot of damage here so Seb should still be able to hold on to the middle barely remanning the MG which will if this rifle squad runs into the MG it will turn this fight around unfortunately they do getting suppressed so that will allow the sniper to go to town and force that squad to retreat and wow does uh, Tom Tom have a lot of munitions calling in strafing runs recons and two bombing runs that is a lot there so let's check what our, our players are doing here Seb not building anything right now just going to be capping in the middle retreating one Volksgrenadier squad and yes he does rebuild the medic bunker he feels pretty safe now okay I can build a medic bunker I have an MG I have a sniper and a Puma and if any vehicles do dare come in here I do have this AT gun 
so I can happily reinforce from this medic bunker. He does have 121 munitions, so if you really, uh, so he can afford the medic upgrade and slowly rebuild his army that way through the medic bunker. And we have the push coming out for Tomitoma, and you can wow, one rifle squad, 27 kills, triple veterancy. Second squad, 14 kills, double veterancy, and the other squad, zero kills. So they are fresh from basic here and you can see Tomitoma already spreading out his rifle squad